effectively what that does, it copies where the holes are. So I can take this piece, transfer it onto the engine subframe, and then just draw a little hole and drill. Should we drill? We should drill. This type of skill is saving us thousands. And I have no doubt that is not gonna work. Bob's now drilling out the holes where the bolts go through, which mount it to the chassis, and then he's just gonna make it the same shape it was before. And that is job well done there. Cheers, Bob. Bob has done a sensational job. We couldn't have done it without Bob. All we've got to do now is test whether everything all works. So we've got to lift in the fuel tank. And as we put our bracket there, we've got to hope that it slides up there. And once we've got the fuel tank in, we can then start really building everything up and put the rear quarter on because the rear quarter does actually bolt to the frame at the back here. So really we need to get all this in to know it all works. So first step, fuel tank, then let's get this engine in. Let's go. Now that the fuel tank is empty, it's a lot easier to put into place. Slides in and then the brackets around it hold it to the chassis. And luckily it seems to be fitting all well. So it looks like we've fitted all the panels around it properly. Then I've got to connect the hose up, which goes from the left hand side fuel tank to the right hand side. And once that's in, I've just got to tighten up all the bolts which hold the brackets on. 